Hi everyone, in this video we have one example and the example is show that the equation x to the fourth plus 5x cubed plus 5x minus 1 equals 0 has at least two real solutions and the interval from negative 6 to 2. So you have to use the IVT and here we have the function f of x as you see x to the fourth plus 5x cubed plus 5x minus 1 and we have the interval from negative 6 to 2 now you have to check the conditions of the mean value theorem the intermediate value theorem and the first condition is the continuity and as you see f of x is a polynomial which means it is continuous everywhere so it will be continuous on the closed interval from negative, su negative 6 to 2 now the second condition you have to know or to uh, find the signs of f negative 6 and f of 2 so you have to plug in negative 6 in the function this is the second condition and this will be negative 6 to the fourth plus 5 times negative 6 cubed plus 5 times negative 6 plus 1 using calculator this is equals to 185 which is greater than 0 which is positive now the second endpoint is 2 so f of 2 equals 2 to the 4th plus 5 times 2 cubed plus 5 times 2 minus 1 and this is equals to 65 which is also greater than 0 so it will be positive so the second condition is not satisfied because we have positive for the two endpoints under the function f. So here this is the number line and we have the interval from negative 6 2 and as you see the image of negative 6 under the function f is positive and f of 2 is positive as well so the second condition is not satisfied so what to do to prove that we have at least two real solutions you have to take a number between negative 6 and 2 by trial and error let's say that the number is 0 and you have to plug in 0 in the function f and you'll get 0 to the fourth plus 5 times 0 cubed plus 5 times 0 minus 1 and this is equals to negative 1 which is less than 0 it is negative so f of 0 is negative now since the function f is continuous and here f of negative 6 is positive and f of 0 is negative so they have different signs or opposite signs this means we have C1 between negative 6 and 2 such that f of C1 equal 0. In the second subinterval from 0 to 2, since f of 0 equal a negative number, And f of 2 is a positive number so we have c2 between 0 and 2 such that f of c2 equal 
zero. So it means there is at least two solutions in the open interval from negative six to two. So the conclusion is there is at least at least two real solutions for f of x or for the equation given in the question and the closed interval or open interval from negative 6 to 2 and that's it thank you